this battery cable corroded very badly to the point that this thing actually broke off. So um, this is a $500 repair because it actually runs under um, the, the uh, intake here for the starter. So you have to take this off and everything. So it's a $500 repair at the dealer. Um, we're going to do this much cheaper. So um, on this, you'll see a black plastic thing like this, which just goes over the wire. And there's just little uh, locks. What you can do with a screwdriver, pop that open, take that off. Uh, this red case will be over the post, which hides the corrosion, which is why you probably haven't seen that it was corroded as badly as it was. Um, it also has a snap up here. positive post so supposedly you can get a, a shock if you touch something metal in the engine and in the post at the same time. So while working on it I put a rubber glove over it and a, an old rag uh, just to kind of keep me from doing that. So these screws that come with this thing are not quite long enough. Uh, I went to Ace Hardware I uh, got three quarter inch screws to replace it with. Um, you can kind of see the post in here. So I've put that on. Um, what I like about this kit is it comes with a little felt pad that's supposed to prevent corrosion. So I'll put that over there first. Then I will tighten this on uh, the post, just like anybody of uh, uh, anybody over 45 probably has seen these before. We see these all the time uh, on cars uh, years ago. Uh, tighten this down on the post. Um, I'll see if this black thing will go back on. I'm quite sure the red one will not. Um, and then I'm just going to leave it like that, and um, I believe that should be good as go. I, good as uh, to go. I've got a, uh, a good connection here. I've tightened these down really well. I'll have a good connection here. I will spray this thing down with a uh, battery uh, terminal spray to keep the corrosion uh, at a minimum going forward. And um, I think this will be good to go. Uh, this overall was uh, less than ten bucks. Uh, to fix this instead of 500 uh, tearing down to the engine and getting to the starter to actually pull this whole harness off. So um, uh, I think it's a quick, easy way to do it. Uh, good luck.